popular Japanese YouTube channel Fourth Wall claims that they have been sent video footage of a family visiting Tokyo Disneyland. Since Dang. there are very strict privacy laws in Japan, the footage has been blurred. I don't feel good about Japan, bro. In, in this aspect. Family's daughter is too scared to ever return to the Disney park after this incident. This is the footage. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Let's check it out. So it happened in Disney. My guy, like, ghost in Japan, like, I, you know what I mean, right? Like, they have a, like, a forest dedicated to that as well. There's a lot of stories <laughs> like that. So far, everything good? Did you see it? I saw a reflection. The anonymous video recorder is walking on the second floor of what appears to be the Disneyland Hotel lobby. Oh, I Again did not see ride, that. And what appears to be the pale, translucent figure of a little girl can be seen right in front mm. of them. But they don't see it. They didn't even discover the figure until after their trip while they were looking through their footage. Yo, I'm so is it a chills, ghost dude. caught on camera? Or is it just an elaborate hoax? You I don't know if I want to believe it though. The so they're claiming they have not seen it Robin in real Skirvin life, but... is a security officer at the Jim Beam Distillery in Claremont, Kentucky. One night while he's at work, he notices something very odd on the building's CCTV camera. We believe we have caught a ghost on camera. Yeah, something just fled by. Let's but I'm not... But don't they have like a policy? of not showing up on cameras. That's the thing that I don't understand. Might be a glitch or something. You know what I mean, okay, right? Okay, there it is, right there. Watch. Uh-oh. I see your shadow, though. All the way oh. across the camera. Now that you know where it's at, I'll pull out a little bit and just watch this thing. It goes all the way across. A and little bit not sus. A light because there is no light back there behind you can see up on the hill back there there's no light there there's nobody over here but it's still going oh dang the camera. you can't it's see like it a, as much now it's like harry potter with invisible cloak usually say that a light or speck caught on camera is most likely either a piece of dust a bug crawling across the lens or even a raindrop but this particular figure appears to actually be walking across the empty parking lot. It even seems to pass behind the building's support posts. Mm, even yeah. stranger, it appears to be radiating in the eerie light. Mm, so could this I, be a real ghost caught on CCTV? He's making a compelling case, but I don't know, know what though. you think. Before yeah, a little bit sus, but... Video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, make sure to smash, us at hit the subscribe bell. At gmail.com behind Boom. the glass popular behind paranormal glass. investigator ricky velasquez is live streaming an overnight investigation at an abandoned hospital in mexico now to protect the historical property like he chooses not to reveal the hospital's location but only says that there are many dark stories and tales of paranormal activity surrounding the old abandoned hospital Ricky Velasquez begins his exploration with two other ghost hunters, but eventually they decide to go, leaving Ricky all alone in the creepy old hospital. Before long, Dang. he begins to hear strange sounds coming from somewhere inside the building. If you see a place like that, would you actually go and... Yo... Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm more, bruh. Yo, dang, dude. If I heard that, my guy, I would run. My god, dude. I'm getting chills. The terrifying wail of a woman can be heard echoing through the hospital halls. Hospital? Mexico? Lady crying? So he is Damn. hiding in one of the hospital rooms. He wants to leave, but at the urging of his oh, live stream oh, audience, dang. he decides to stick around just a bit longer. Nah, homie. It did not I'm, go I'm, well. I'm part of the audience. From his Don't stay. spot in the hospital room, he explains what he's hearing and experiencing. But then things get truly chilling. What a guy. My guy got balls this of steel. Pretty sure I got somebody. Pretty sure I got Moses. somebody. Come 
como si algo se acercara aquí adentro, como si. Okay, I'm a, I'm a back away a little. Yo, just run, just run, dude, just, just run. <laughs> Yo, run, run, bro. Nah, that's a genuine reaction, honestly. Be first always, especially. Oh my God, bro, no. Especially the graph. Gra oh dang, dude, I don't wanna. Yo, <laughs> yo, no way, dude. Did you see it? In the circular window oh my on the God, left door, a small pale hand can be seen pressing oh. against the window before quickly disappearing. Yo, tears are Ricky coming out of my eyes right now. To his core, he gets up and quickly rushes over to the door to look behind it, but nothing there. That's mm. when he decides to just leave the hospital and end the live stream. Yeah, okay, so now this think one. Ricky caught one of the hospital spirits. Yeah, this one on got camera, bro. Or is it all? Just an elaborate hoax. The first two were whatever. The Woodchester this one Mansion. Was, this one was the good. The Woodchester Mansion in Gloucestershire, England has a dark and mysterious history. The building was constructed over 150 years ago, but one day the construction suddenly stopped. For unknown reasons, workers at the mansion just dropped their tools, refused to continue working, and left, never to return. Rumors began to circulate about the reason for the workers' sudden departure. The creepiest of these rumors says that a murder took place inside the mansion, and Damn. that soon after the site was plagued like by this? violent paranormal activity. It is said that one day after some unknown, very disturbing paranormal event, the workers fled in terror, even leaving their tools behind. To this day, over 150 years later, the workers' 19th century tools can be found scattered around Woodchester Mansion. Since then, many visitors to Woodchester Mansion have had terrifying paranormal experiences of their own. Ghost hunter Mark Pritchard and a small group of investigators explore the mysterious Woodchester Mansion in the middle of the night. They don't in know the it yet, but their investigation is about to take a terrifying turn. Oh, damn. Oh, snap. So what year was this shot in? That is not quite. Your videos the grainy. Do I? Do I? I don't like this. What? This is that, 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 that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Grainy footage. I don't like this, bro. Grainy footage, no. That came from up there. Look, that was. You're right. Yeah. It's frightening me. You're right. Yeah, gravity, you know what? We have this thing on planet Earth. Yeah. Yeah, man. Alright, hold on. Let's just. Okay, just a stone. Just a stone. Alright, guys. Let's move to Objective Charlie. Something up? You see, there, these stones are along all along here. Which means it must have been pushed off. Yo, I don't want to. I should not be doing this because I feel like something's gonna jump out. One of the group's investigators, Joanne, screams in terror as she is nearly hit by what appears to be a heavy piece of roof tile or a stone. Now the group has no idea how it could have Just fallen since there's no wind, and as I mentioned, the piece is fairly heavy. The ghost hunters believe that the only way the chunk of material could have fallen is if it were pushed off the ceiling above them, mm -hmm. or maybe even thrown by some unseen force. Now, Dang. I didn't spot anything, but some viewers claim to see bizarre shadows lurking in the rafters just above them. So take a close look for yourself and let me know what you see. Uh, okay, let's try to analyze this. Yeah, I could not see it falling. I could not see it falling. The Night Visitor. TikTok okay, that wasn't too scary. Angelo is watching YouTube very late at night in her bedroom that Yo, she that's shares me. with her I sister watched YouTube Alexis. Late at night. Alexis gets up to go to the bathroom, but when she returns, oh, dude. something is just not quite right. Lexi. My goodness. 3 a.m. and this happened, she was sleepwalking and then just stopped. Lexi. And said, hey. Stop staring at me like that. Yo, she's possessed. Alexis. She's possessed. Slap her. Yo, you're trying to freak me the f out. Maybe throw a Twinkie. Maybe ah. throw a Twinkie. Yo, yeah, ah! call the mama, man. Stood there for three minutes. Three ah! minutes? 
That's 180 seconds, according to scientific study done back in the 90s. I don't know ah! what. You don't want to know. Trust me. But I'm crying. She's crying. Oh, oh my god. Yo, what? what what's that? What's that at the back? Um, like maybe a puppy or dog? Like you see her? Yeah, I think Mama's sleeping or she's something. She's just staring at me. It's I know she came in. Okay, she came. Oh, oh, snap! Now, oh, of course, dog, the simple yeah. explanation for Alexis' unnerving behavior is likely that she was simply sleepwalking. However, many TikTok viewers believe that she might have actually been possessed by a ghost, or maybe a good actress. Lee since Amanda claims that the, the event same. happened at 3 a.m which is said to be the hour when supernatural beings are the most powerful. Yeah, don't watch Either YouTube way, at 3 in the morning, that I believe that this video is 100% real. Well, let me clarify that. I believe that Alexis is definitely sleepwalking. Not necessarily that she's possessed. But if you watch closely, Alexis doesn't blink a single time in this entire video even though a bright flashlight is shining right into her face. In fact, Alexis keeps her eyes open for so long that they actually begin to tear up. Oh, dang. So, yeah. what would you do if one of your family members suddenly walked into your bedroom at 3 a.m. and just started staring at you? I would slap the living shiza out of him. This video is downright creepy. Oh, yeah, it is. The it passenger. is. Reddit user RBFS, got a bonus? short for Reddit Bans Free Speak, recently posted a very creepy video to the Argos subreddit. He says that he had to be picked up by an ambulance after suffering an eye injury. He pulls out his phone to film himself as they load him into the ambulance. And this is where things get truly bizarre. Damn. No worries, he says his eye healed up 100%. So yeah, he's getting inside. Uh, he's chilling. And this time, I ask, did you hear it? I did hear something. Right it's after the already. EMT loads him into the ambulance and shuts the door, a voice whispers, "It's fine. I'm ready." Reddit user RBFS says that he was completely alone in the ambulance. And playing devil's advocate, even if an EMT was in there with him, it would make absolutely no sense for the guy to creepily whisper this strange statement to him. What makes Maybe this video he was even more compelling him, or... is that RBFS has never posted a supernatural video of any kind before this. Most mm. of his Reddit posts are about his hobby of playing airsoft, which by My the way guy loves was to play the Call of Duty of in real life. Injury. So did RBFS catch an EVP of a previous ambulance passenger who just didn't quite make it to the hospital and maybe was making peace with the situation? Nah, his lips ain't moving. If you enjoyed the video, keep your social credits and share this video. But click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there. Just click it, man. You're gonna